not a, addressing privacy and data security at the uh, infant stages of product development or service, uh, developing a service, uh, I've seen time and time again come back uh, uh, to haunt the company. It's simple today to have an engineer who makes a decision about data in a program, in a piece of software, in a piece of hardware that has potentially criminal consequences for the organization. And so what we're seeing is not a need for specific knowledge about a specific law in a specific place, but rather environmental knowledge, holistic knowledge about privacy and security concerns and baking those into the enterprise so that organizations can be more aware and flag issues, raise questions when they emerge so that better decisions can be made. Well, I think nowadays most companies try to address privacy and security and they try to do it to the best of their abilities. The problem is, is that training your workforce and understanding the role that everybody plays in each company and that you can have all of the antivirus software in the world and the firewalls in place, but if you don't train your employees, that if they don't uh, auto-populate their to field, or if they don't, uh, if they auto-forward things, or if they send PHI and rely on your automated systems as opposed to encrypting it themselves, that all of these things lead to little consequences every day, that you have a breach every time there's an imp impermissible disclosure, and I think that's a difficult concept to grasp and a difficult concept to control. Uh, I think one of the most uh, important areas that we really need to be aware of uh, is the unintended consequences of unnecessary regulation. Uh, the law is generally pretty clear in a number of respects, and at least most companies approach the law with the idea that they need to provide reasonable levels of security. Uh, but we haven't quite figured out what reasonable levels of security are, um, and it's a very difficult concept to define. Uh, but certainly with sensitive information, businesses are taking greater additional steps. And one of the things we've seen in recent years is when sensitive information isn't adequately protected, um, consumers can be hurt and regulators can react very aggressively. Um, so it's a very difficult um, challenge. Um, but one that we're still continuing to work through. But the reality is once the genie's out of the bottle for this information, uh, it's out of the bottle. And so calculating and figuring out the kinds of damages, how people have actually been hurt, uh, can be really difficult. And so many companies increasingly you know, err on the side of caution. Uh, and that isn't always the best thing for business uh, or necessarily the best thing for consumers. But until the law um, becomes more clear, uh, until we as a society agree on what the standard should be, uh, you know, sort of across the board, these are going to be things we're going to continue to work through.